Today is March 1st, um, construction for the Audrey puppets are still underway. There's a few steps left to finish the very last one, the big ass one. The other three plants have already been delivered, they're on stage, and it, uh, Cass has been practicing with them. Tomorrow, tomorrow being March 2nd, Thursday, is the projected ending of this particular project. Ken's coming over and we're going to have plenty of hours to finish the inside of the mouth and put the detailing on the outside. As it's standing now, the vine detailing is done and I'm about to put some double-sided tape on the back of this and then cut out the pattern of green that splotches that are going to be on top. You're not really going to see this very well. It's really not going to be noticed and the only reason I'm actually even putting them in here is because they are on the other three variations of the pot. That is pretty much the primary reason why I'm even bothering putting these in spots that are on top of the back crown. So I'm going to lay out some of this on this thin felt. I just did a test stick and our uh, double sided sticky tape with material on foam does stick. So our pattern is here for our large head. This is going to go underneath the vines. It's another layer of color and texture. Um, I can't put it on without Ken, so just kind of chilling and relaxing. Today being March 2nd, Ken and I are coming to a really strong point of uh, finishing up the final pod puppet. Best case scenario, we finish it today, deliver it tonight. Second best scenario, we finish it sometime before Saturday and deliver it then. It's actually um, Thursday right now, so. Either way, it's not really a bad scenario. It's just to be kind of nice to stick a fork in this one. I, I love this project, but it's been 122 days now. That's a good chunk of the year. It's like one third of a year. Yeah, 365 days. Yeah, it's been one third of a year. Yeah. It's looking better. It's not 100%, but it's definitely 90%. I gotta tap out right now, but okay. The wife going into the creature shop. Sneak peek. That looks so good! Oh my gosh, that looks so oh, good! You have to fix the teeth. He did that far. Oh my. Holy crap, Ken! Ken did a lot, he yes. said. No more tentacle here to go and stuff. And the big tentacles are going to be out there in the hand. Did you see the hands? And the tentacles I was just working on are going to go right here. Cover that all up. Yeah, it's a big puppet. Looks good. Take the dragons all over again. Spectacular. And bring the tentacles out. Okay, here we go. I had... Holy... This is a great look. Hold on. Today's March 4th. It's, uh, slightly different weather than March 3rd. We got about 10 inches of snow. We gotta dig out the creature shop. Today, Ken and I are going to put the back part of the plant in place, and then we're going to deliver this tomorrow. I, I know we are. First, I got to get to the creature shop. New England weather is funny I mean, because despite all the snowfall and the snowing now and the wind, the temperature is actually warmer than it was yesterday. And there it is so far to lighten the load. I'm going to go inside the head and take off some, here and there, some weight off the inside of the, the plant. Stuff that doesn't need to be there. I'm just going to remove it. Here we go. We're going to climb inside. Ah, crunch. We have been eaten. Can you open it up again? Yeah, hold on. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh... That's really kind of cool. That's a better surprise. Now we're, we're working on the inside again. Or still. It really looks wonderful. We are rolling now. 
This is the test one. We're gonna open. This is the first time with the black material inside. Let's go. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 you see nothing. You see nothing but black material. Oh yeah, they're totally hidden. I um, do want you to come in here and do this. Wait, Ken, let me say it. Yeah. I'm gonna let's try that again. Hold on. Yep. Whenever you are. Ah, oh, gosh, it's monstrous. Holy moly, that mouth is huge. I am happy with this. I love it. Oh, this is wonderful. All right, it's done. Ready to be delivered. I mean, there'll be like minute little detailing at the end, but we can't do that much more until we see it actually in its place. And there she is. Eight feet wide, seven and a half feet tall. Arms are four feet curled, and a nine foot arm span. I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's a big puppet. It's really big. And it is ready, and these guys are ready. No. So we got four heads, bottom jaw, top jaw, shoulders, two arms with hands attached, three tentacles, and just a couple of pins. Yeah, this is gonna travel in a lot of pieces, but we're gonna try bring it there, put it all together, and then uh, kick butt. Can now we're gonna sit back a bit until tomorrow morning, do some Nintendoing. Tomorrow is delivery day. The, the pods are being loaded up. It's delivery day. Interesting light snowfall. It's kind of probably looks like CGI or fake, but it's real. Okay. Right. We got it delivered. It's honestly. I was wondering where they all went. Guys, next time we see you, we got to be on stage. It's gonna be excellent. They're backstage. There they are, they're backstage. This is probably where we're gonna tap up and say, that's all we have time for on these multiple episodes of the Andy Little Sci Fi Horror Show. My name is Andy. I'm Ken. And these are the Audrey Pods, and we're backstage. We're being quiet because they're rehearsing up front right now, so we're gonna go. So we're gonna sneak out the back. Bye. of the U-Haul, making life easier. Pricey, but worth it, just for the convenience. Fits well in there. Here's the logic, if we got it to fit in the back of a U-Haul, we can make it fit in there.